take your practice to the next level with our Boho Beautiful official app. Your number one stop for an entire exclusive library of yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and so much more. Download it today in the App Store. Hello friends and welcome to our Power Yoga Wake Up Class. So today's practice is going to be quick but super effective yoga flow that will really focus on building up the fire in your body. This is an amazing class to do in the morning when you're really just looking to get yourself going or at any time that you need a little pick me up. You won't need anything but yourself and your mat. So once you're ready, let's get to it. All right, friends. So to begin today, we're going to start all the way over to the back of our mats. You're going to tuck your toes underneath and just first, just give yourself a little stretch here. Try to make sure that all five toes get tucked under. A really great way to warm up the feet, especially if this is a morning practice for you. So just find your center, find your balance. And then let's begin by taking our arms next to the side of the body and opening that chest and heart center. Feel free to close your eyes in this moment and just really come into the body. Come into your power, into your strength, to your determination and focus and keep that intention for the next 10 minutes. Go ahead and take another deep breath in, open and reach the arms a little bit further away from you. And then exhale, bring them all the way up to the sky, palms together. Bring the hands to the heart as you begin to look back and open up through that upper back. Reach it back. Exhale, release. Good. Slowly slide your hands forward. Roll vertebra by vertebra, untuck your toes, and come over into all fours position. Inhale, go ahead and arch the back, look up. Now as you exhale, I want you to come into neutral spine, pull the navel into the spine, and then lift your knees off the floor so you're holding and engaging the core muscles here. Inhale, arch. Exhale, engage the core. So starting to build a little bit of fire in our midsection, in our powerhouse, in the core a really vital piece of our body that helps us keep balance, control, and center of our entire body through the day. One more inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and lift and hover. Feel that engagement. Now from this position, see if you can bring your right knee a little bit higher. Bring it down. Left knee. Bring it down. So it's kind of like a bear stance, except our toes are relaxed. So we're also adding a little bit of a stretch into the feet. So just alternating left, right, left. Good job. Right, tuck your toes. Hold the bear for five, four, three. Breathe, keep it hovered. Two, one, push back, push the hips, and start to extend and release into your downward facing dog. Let's move it on the spot just for a moment. Letting go of any tension, any stiffness you might feel along the backs of your legs. I like to do a little bit of a stretch through the side body as well. As you can see, really moving your hips. Nice and big movement here. Great. And then press both heels as far down as you're comfortable, elongating through the neck. Deep breath in. Exhale, round through into high plank position. Shoulders coming right directly over top of your wrist. Good. Slowly from here, opening to your left side, onto your left hand. Stack your feet. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Side plank. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that arm through and around. Come back into your high plank. Chaturanga or drop your knees down to the floor if you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself at this time. Release the back toes, and let's open into Upward Facing Dog. 
Take a little extra time in this posture. If your body's just waking up, it needs that extra time to hold. Exhale, push back, release, downward dog. Go right to the other side, slowly round through vertebra by vertebra, high plank position. Shift your weight to your right side, stack your feet, open into your high side plank. Hold, engaging through the obliques. Beautiful, slowly reach the arm forward, back to your high plank, chaturanga, or drop down to your knees first. Upward facing dog. Good. Hold your upward dog. Tuck your back toes. Stay in this position. We're going to take a chaturanga push-up, as I like to call it, or up dog push-up. You're going to bend your elbows, work those triceps, come down to plank or chaturanga plank, and then up for four. Wake up those triceps. Two. Whoops, that was wrong. That's two now. <laughs> And one awesome push back, release. Downward facing dog, awesome guys. Big breath into the body. Good, exhale, let it go. All right, a little bit of a heart pumping movement here. So you're gonna lift the heels, bend your knees, hop between your two hands, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bend both knees, hands grounded, hop back into plank. Downward facing dog. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop forward. Halfway lengthen. Bend your knees, plant the palms of your hands, hop back, plank. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. A little bit faster tempo here. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hop back. Downward dog. One last time, lift. Bend, hop forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hop back and lift the hips. Downward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, go deeper, my friends. Ah, really start to feel that heat building up in the body. We're doing great. All right, lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, go ahead and fold forward. Just allow your body to relax. Bend your knees and slowly start to roll up for four, for three, for two, one. Inhale, big reach of the arms. Good. Exhale, look back. Bring those hands to your heart just like we did in the beginning. Inhale, come back to center, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees first to make sure you're folding from your hip crease, not from your lower back. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees a little bit more, coming into Utkatasana chair, sinking nice and low, really starting to wake up your quads, your glutes. Good, inhale, hold it here. Mm, good job, you guys. Exhale, slowly lower the hands, come down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hop back into plank. Out of Chaturanga here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let it go. Inhale now. Step your right foot to the front of your mat. Drop your left knee. Inhale, reach up, low lunge. Hold this position. On your exhalation, lift the back knee off the floor as you cactus arms come up for four. Come back down into your low lunge. Do it again for three, bring it down, for two, last one, holding a little bit longer, hold it here, reach, 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 now with both arms up to the sky, feel that engagement in your lower body, exhale, dive the hands down, step back into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, stretch it out, Going right into the next leg, my friends. Left foot steps forward. Drop your right knee. Inhale, arms up. Beautiful, drop those shoulders away from the air so you're elongating the neck. And now let's lift the back knee off the mat as you bring those elbows in for one. Bring it back down. Exhale, two. Bring it back down. 
exhale three one more and four good job hold it here maybe extend your arms if that is within your practice at this time of the day and slowly drop the hands step back with your left foot right into high plank position one more time navel to the spine chaturanga dandasana take it down upward facing dog exhale Woo. downward facing dog and let's take three deep breaths here just go a little bit deeper really feel that heat within the body and allow yourself to be guided Ooh, through this energy to go deeper to release further to connect closer with that breath and slowly once you're ready lift the heels drop your knees to the mat and let's just sit back over to child's pose to close off this very quick fiery little practice that we did together keep reaching those fingertips to the front of your mat forehead down and take last final two deep breaths connecting your breath to the body and then allowing yourself to surrender let's let go and one more time deep breath in and exhale let it go slowly rolling up vertebra by vertebra coming up to seated reaching both of your arms up to the sky taking last final breath and then exhale bring your hands over to your heart and bowing down to your own heart to your own self with gratitude for finding just 10 minutes out of your day and doing something good for your body for your breath for your mind and for your spirit thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in our next class namaste